Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anushka if you're new here and if you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you know when I post. Oh, and before we go on to the video, I'm going to do today's post notification shout out and today's one goes to Melina Brazil Rodrigo. I hope I'm saying that right, but thank you so much for hitting that bell button. And if you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time, all you have to do is press the bell button, comment below when you have done so and... Um, I give the shout outs to, it can be anyone, anyone that's shown support for a long time or someone who's just commented done, so it can be anyone. It really feels weird saying all of this because I feel I haven't filmed in like two weeks, I did have pre-filmed videos and I did film like a few days ago. I do want to say thank you to all of you guys who have shown me so much love and support in the past few days, like... I don't know, you guys are just so supportive and I know I'm in a really weird mood and I feel like I'm getting out of it, like I feel a bit more me. My cat is getting better um, by the day. I mean, we still, she's just still healing and she's much better than before. And so, yeah, just a little update on her. Thank you so much for just being so nice to me. I just really appreciate it. So, yeah. Shall we just jump straight onto this video? <laughs> Shall we just jump straight onto the video? Um, today I'm going to be trying out some new products that I got. Not all of it's new, but I've got some few bits that are really new and just been piling them up. So we're just going to try them today. I'm going to put my hair back. So the first thing I'm going to be using for my brows is this new Tattoo Brow Micro Pen Tint. This is what it looks like and it's literally like kind of like an imitation. It's kind of like an imitation for microblading. That's what everyone's been saying. Like literally, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but there's little tips coming out of it. Chichi! He's being so rebellious. Like he's just walking on all the countertops. He's walking on all over all over the countertops, meowing like crazy. He's such a rebel, honestly. But. Basically, he was getting used to it, but then he managed to slip out. I was putting the clothes to dry out in the garden and he slipped out. And I didn't even realise till like a few hours later where I could not see him and I could not hear him meowing. So we looked all over the house for him and he was basically outside. But as soon as I call him, like he does go quite far sometimes. But if, he, if I stand outside for like a good five minutes and call him, he will always come back, which I'm really thankful for. So I really thought like... Sometimes when cat, you like close cats in doors, when they get out, they literally won't come back. But he came back straight away and listened. So <laughs> he just needs to get used to it again. But he's had a taste of the outside world again. So now it's like we're starting back at zero. So he was getting used to it though. Anyways, onto this thing. Um, I do have the shade Deep Brown, which is I believe the darkest shade. You see how there's like, these little things here. doing oh it does I feel like it's more coloring on my brow in than anything else is it working I think it is it actually does imitate brow hairs it's actually so weird that's actually not bad. I'm pretty surprised at that. I mean, it's not bad. I really like the way how it feels like the inner corner. I'm now going to take some of my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in Medium Dark Warm. I haven't used this in a long time. Just using some of my L'Oreal. What cat yells like that? What, what the hell? Anyways, I'm just using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, and I'm just gonna look at that. That looks, ooh, that looks nice and fluffy. Uh, we're gonna go onto the eyes now, so I'm gonna use some of this concealer. I 
haven't used this concealer in a long time. I used to use this all the time when I first started YouTube. It's so weird. But today I'm going to be using the new Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I did swatch some of the shades already because I was so excited to receive it. And some of the shades are really nice. Some of them I'm a bit like, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. But it's basically like the Rose Gold Palette but newer shades and then I think they reworked some of the shades but this is the palette it's so beautiful it's kind of like the desert dust palette it's got the mirror it's more sturdier like they she did explain that she put a, a bit more money into the packaging this time you guys know I'm a big sucker for Huda Beauty eyeshadows they're like one of my favorite eyeshadows but today I think I'm gonna start with just gonna start with Sandalwood. No idea what kind of look I am going for. Okay, so if you look at the eyeshadow, that's how much fallout comes out. The other ones don't really do that. I'm gonna grab Henna. I first grab this shade, and now I'm grabbing Henna, and I think I might go with Coco afterwards. Okay, so now I'm going to grab Coco. It's not coming like up really, really dark on me. Chichi! I think I'm going to take this shade Risqué. It looks really pretty this shade right here this is like a new one you did change up the names as well but i'm gonna put like risque like in this section here i don't know where this is going and i think the next shade i'm gonna take is 24k is this yellowy shade right here i'm gonna i mean that's pretty the eyeshadows feel like putty, you know like the NYX ones? They kind of like leave your fingerprint in there. But I'm gonna try with them. Um, I'm gonna wet the brush. My brush really doesn't want to pick it up, but I'm just like really swirling it. I don't know, let me try another one. What I am going to do is take some of this new eyeshadows from, this is the Magnetize Gold Eyeshadows, these new really cool eyeshadows from Makeup Revolution, they look like this, isn't that so cool but it's like powder, it feels like powder but it's like in this wavy kind of print, anyways I'm going to pop this on the lid. So the brush definitely picks it up. I'm gonna take some of this Certify Glitter. This is in number two. It's like the same kind of gold. I'm gonna pop this all over. Popping off the excess. I'm just gonna do the other right and I'll be right back. Okay, so both eyes are now done. Okay, so next I'm going to try this really cool looking eyeliner by Makeup Revolution. This is their Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. Look how sleek that looks. This is what the felt tip looks like. I think it's not the best option because I have gone for glitter, but I feel like if, if I didn't have the glitter... Jesus. I feel like if I didn't go for the glitter, it would have worked really well. 
And then for mascara, I've got this Delilah mascara that was given to me at the EX1 Masterclass. It's their def definitive, definitive, definitive volumizing and defining mascara. This is what it looks like. You just pull it out. Brush looks like that. I mean, it's okay. I feel like my lashes doesn't really grip to it nicely. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with these uh, lashes. These are in the style. Well, these are in the style Amelia. Look at the difference. They just fit right on. Some of the Primark Prime Water. I was also recently sent some new correctors in the Conceal and Define. Well, actually, they're called Conceal and Correct range. Now they have like an orange, yellow, like banana, and a green one. Since I had like a bunch of spots from exams, I do have some scarring and pigmentation. I'm now going to use some of the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Brown Sugar. I just forgot I'm still waiting for my um, lashes to dry. Let's quickly blend this in. I'm using a Glam Doll Foundation Brush. Oh, my skin to look flawless. Flawless canvas. I'm just going to pop some concealer, the same Urban Decay concealer. some of the banana shade of the concealer I did forget I did forget to mention this at the beginning of the video but I wanted to ask you guys if you prefer me posting three days a week or um oh that's like this is the banana one or like um five days a week I don't know the specific days but just let me know how often you would like me to post I mean I don't mind either so I'm going to try this under my eyes it's the Australis banana powder I don't know if this is supposed to be translucent, but it's definitely making my under eyes look even brighter. I feel like my under eyes are going to the ashy side. Okay, I think it's a fail on the powder. I don't know, it's making, it's doing funny things under my eyes. I'm ruining my makeup. So I'm going to use some of the AX1 Invisiwear powder in number 8. This is what it looks like. This is my first time really using this. I, just try, I did try it at the masterclass slightly under my eyes, but I did really try it all over my face. I think that's a bit better now. I'm just going to quickly pop on some bronzer, just the 17 bronzer that I have here. I mix Dubai with the black shade. The black shade is called Black Truffle.
definitely pretty under the eyes. So I'm going to take that Delilah mascara again and just pop a bunch on my lower lashes without getting some on my eyeball. What the hell? Okay, I can say I'm definitely not a fan of the mascara because literally it almost blinded me. Just quickly onto the lips, I'm going to put some of the NYX. I'm going to use some of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Leon. Yeah, and I'm also going to go in with the Jouer Lip Topper. This is in, what is this in? This is in the shade Rose Gold. It's actually so pretty. Oh, I know what this smells well. This smells like drumsticks. Okay, I think that's it, guys, for this look. Oh, wait, I forgot my highlight. So I was recently sent these from Beauty Bay. These are the Laura Geller Daydreamer Illuminating Drops. So I have the one that's Gilded Honey. Looks like this. And I think I'm going to try and put this on my cheekbones. So definitely don't put it in with your finger because it will literally leave the fingerprints so just go in with your sponge it looks much prettier actually look at that I think I might really use this a lot because I really like a subtle glow lately as well they also sent me this palette life glows on palette and it has like I think these are like limited shades but there's a lilac shade in here and I really want to try it You can definitely see the high, the purple. Before I go, I do have this Buxom eyeliner. This is a brown one. This is it's called Here's My Number. Hold the line waterproof eyeliner. It's super creamy. Oh my god. I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to just play around and I got a bunch of new makeup that I wanted to try. I feel like I need to get into the hang of things because I haven't like played around with makeup for so long and I feel like I've forgotten how to do it. I just need to play around it a bit more. So yeah, make sure to answer the poll um, and let me know if you prefer three videos a week or five. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.